Hey guys, it's Lori. Today's shopping day. I've already done my Walmart pickup order and I'm on my way to Costco. I'm on this side road with a whole bunch of stop signs because it said that the main road was closed. There was a sign blocking off the road. It said road closed. And every crossroad I look over and I see the traffic just moving right along on the main road. It's like, really? Were they just kidding or what? So, oh well, anyways, I have a little squeal in my brakes. You hear that? That's me. Ever since my uh, new brakes got put on, they squeal. He said that's normal for a little while, but it's kind of been more than a little while. So anyways, I'll get back with you. Okay, I'm all done at Costco. I spent a total of $307.75, but some of that stuff's actually not mine this time because Josh wanted me to pick up some groceries for him, so I did, and I'm not entirely sure how much of that is his. So we'll find that out when I get home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got like always. I already got gas because when I got here, there was like no line at all, and there is usually like a humongous line for the gas station. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna head home now and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. All right, guys, I'm home. You might hear Trailer Park Boys in the background. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do the Walmart stuff first and maybe you could put some of this stuff away from me like the refrigerator stuff as I go, you think? Okay, okay, that works. All right, I don't have prices for the Walmart stuff. I didn't bother to write those down. I started writing down my Costco prices while I'm in the store. I just take a Sharpie in with me and write it right on there as I'm shopping. So <laughs> makes it easy. Anyways, I got the bag of green Granny Smith apples for John. His apples, he's gotta have his apples. I got the big pepperoni. I don't remember what size. It's a 21 ounce mega pack of great value pepperoni. The one pound medium cheddar. I got two of these uh, 25 tablets. It's the acid reducer pills. I got two of them. I wanna put one in the van and keep one in the house. I have been having heartburn so bad lately. I don't know what's going on, but probably because I haven't been eating great this last few days, but well, several days, <laughs> but yeah. I need some acid reducer. Anyways, I only have a couple left. I got a little jar of the Luana coconut oil. I still have my big jug of coconut oil from Costco that I got a long time ago. I still have a bunch left in that. This is for in the bathroom. <laughs> for after I take my shower, I kind of cover myself with this and then dry off a little bit. But anyways, then I got four of these Uncle Ben's ready rice. I got the roasted chicken, three roasted chicken, and I got one butter garlic. And these are actually for Brendan. And there's something else to go with it, but that's gonna be in my Costco haul, and I'll tell you about that when I get to it. And I got two half and halves. This is all Walmart pickup order. I got the E6000, the three ounce tube of E6000 glue for my crafts, and also John needs a pair of shoes fixed. He said, what, the bottom's coming off of them? The tread. The tread's coming off. So I've done this before with his shoes, and it works really good. Oops, I dropped it on the floor. And I got, I actually ordered the Equate brand acetone nail polish remover, and it's a smaller bottle than this, but they gave me this brand, which I know is more expensive, but I guess they were out. So this was a, a substitution, and I'm perfectly happy with that because I actually ordered the little bottle of this to put in with my craft supplies. So let me pick this up. And one last thing that I got, and this is all from my Walmart pickup order, is a poster frame, the 18 by 24 poster frame. John has a poster that he wants to hang up in the garage and he tried to hang it up with thumbtacks, but it just, no, it needs a poster frame. So anyways, there's the poster frame and I think that is everything from Walmart. So let me move some of this stuff around and I'll get back with you with the Costco haul. Oh, I lied. A big bag of Alpo dog food. <laughs> Okay, moving on to Costco. I gotta get this refrigerator stuff and frozen stuff put away. But this was $11.99 for this big bag of, what is it, 64 ounces, four pound bag of the Ultimate Fish Sticks. This is for Josh, so he's gonna be paying for the stuff that I got for him. $4.59 for the three pound Daisy Cottage Cheese. That's for Josh, too. Everything that I'm showing you right now is for Josh. The granola bars, how much are the granola bars? I forget, $7.69 for the 64 count granola bars from 
uh, those are actually for Chase. And also, he and Josh said he wanted like some popcorn chicken or something like that. So I actually FaceTimed him while I was there. I'm like, Josh, they don't have popcorn chicken. So I showed him all the different kinds of chicken they had. And he's like, just give me that. That's the best value. Five pounds of the dino, what is it, dino buddies? He's like, I don't care if my chicken nuggets are shaped like dinosaurs. That's okay. So I can't remember how much it was. $11.99 for the five pound box of these. Okay. That's fine. And $6.99 for the big box, the double pack of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. There's two bags in here, and it's a pound and a half each. So, so this is a three pound box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch for $6.99. Can you, really hmm? you can just leave that out, actually. I'm going to cook that. And the same deal with the Cocoa Puffs and Golden Grams. There's a bag of each one of those in there, a total of three pounds for $6.99. That's also for Josh, and I think that's everything for Josh. So, what? I didn't do that yet. You're putting stuff away I haven't hauled yet. I can't get a pencil in there. <laughs> Just, where'd you put that? Where'd you put that other? Over here. Oh, well, give it to me. You're taking away from my pile that I didn't um, show him yet. So, whatever I show him, I put it on the table. This stuff's for Josh, but I don't know when he's going to be here. Maybe we should stick it in the big freezer. Probably should. Yeah, you'll never be able to get this stuff in the fridge. I'll just do it. <laughs> See, we need to go down to Marvell's house and get that fridge down there and get it down here. Okay, moving on to my stuff from Costco. I also got a Daisy Cottage Cheese, the three-pound tub of that. Or is it three pound? Did I say three pound? Yeah, it is three pounds. I'm losing my mind. Anyways. Yeah, and I got the four pounds of bacon, and I wrote it down, but it came off. But I think it's like thirteen ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, it wiped off because this thing's all sweaty. So, anyways, yeah, this is two twenty four ounce packages of the extra lean ham lunch meat. Normally seven ninety nine, but it was two dollars off this time, so this was only five ninety nine for all this ham. And it's, you can take this apart. Now I'll put one in the freezer and keep one out. I'm actually probably going to make some pickle wraps with those. That'll make John happy. <laughs> oh, doesn't it fit in the big freezer? No. Oh. <laughs> I got the quarter pound Angus beef patties. This is a six pound package. There's 24 of them in there. Regular price $17.99, but it was $4 off this time, so it was $13.99 for this great big thing of beef patties. So that's awesome. Can you put this in the freezer? Will this fit? <laughs> I just organize it a little bit and everything fits, but he's not like that. Because you know, people shuffle stuff around in there trying to look for stuff and it gets messy. I just organize it back the way it's supposed to be and everything fits just fine. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. He's going to make a face at me when I show him because there's a couple more refrigerator things. So $9.79 for 120 slices of American cheese. Is that upside down? It sure is. <laughs> the Kirkland brand. I usually get the Kraft American singles, but this actually has better macros and better ingredients. So I decided to get this kind. 120 slices. It's actually a better deal too. So anyways, yeah. We've got lots of fridge stuff here for you to put away. Lots of refrigerator stuff. <laughs> just cook it and eat it he said it's fine I'll get it okay I also picked up this how do you say it oikos I assume 18 cups of yogurt and it was $12.99 for this but it's gonna go on sale in a few days so I'm probably gonna get a price adjustment on this when I go next time it has six strawberries six mixed berry and six vanilla this is actually High in protein, it's got 15 grams. Can you see that? 15 grams of protein per cup. And if you can see right here, zero added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, zero fat. I know if you're doing keto, you don't, you you don't necessarily want a zero fat thing, but yeah, we're doing more higher protein right now. He's doing super high protein, so there's that. And that's the reason I got that, was because that'll be nice for him to grab one of those and take it to work with him, and he can eat it on one of his, like, one of his five minute or 10 minute breaks or whatever it is you get, I don't know. But anyways, he just eat one of those real quick and he can get 15 grams of protein in real fast. So there's that and, can you guess what's next? 
Can you guess what my next thing is? Caribou K cups, $42.99. Yeah, $42.99 for 100 K cups. Caribou. We actually didn't really need those real bad this time, but I just went ahead and picked them up. I should have waited to see if they're on sale next time. But, well, I actually already have that ad. I don't think they are. Okay, so $34.99 regular price, but it was $5 off this time, so $29.99 for the 60 Pike Place K cups. We are pretty short on those, and those, I like those better than the caribou. They're a little bit um, older, I guess. I like them. $9.89 for a six pack of the chicken, and each can is 12.5 ounces. This is what's going with that rice that I showed you guys. This is gonna be really easy for Brendan to make, and he really likes chicken and rice. Just mix it together. I mean, it's ready rice, so all he has to do is heat up the package and dump in a can of chicken, warm it up in the microwave, and he's good to go. He just made himself a meal. So, yeah. There's that, something easy for him, because he's working two jobs right now, and I'm having a really hard time making meals because nobody's ever here at the same time anymore, you know? Well, me and John, but we don't ever eat at the same time. We eat when we're hungry. Oh, the big giant toilet paper. I got the big 30 pack of toilet tissue, and I don't remember how much it was. It was like $16.99, I think, pretty sure. Huge rolls, great deal. The big giant coffee mate, $5.99. $13.99 for this 14 ounce taster's choice. I'm getting pretty low on my taster's choice. I like to have this on hand. I'm telling you, if this house is ever without coffee, there is something seriously wrong, so. Okay, the 9.5 ounce bag of the Parmesan Wisps for $9.79 and $16.99 for 40 pack of the Duracell um, Double A's. I'm almost out of Double A's. I think I said I have one left, right? So how do you end up with one left? Doesn't everything take two? Okay, now this is a new item. The lady that works there, she was doing the sample. She told me this was a new item. She saw me pick it up. And she's like, let me just ask you what you're gonna use those for. And I said, salad toppers. This is Crispy Dillies. They are pickle flavored fried cucumbers. They don't, they don't look too bad. The ingredient list doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure if you'd want this if you're strict keto. Maybe if you're dirty keto, but this is this does have some other stuff in I don't have my glasses on or I'd read it to you, but it's got how many grams of carbs? Four grams of carbs per one and a half tablespoons. How would you even measure a tablespoon of these? I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, they're not super low carb, but he's going to enjoy those on his salads. I doubt if I'll use them, but this is a huge bag. $5.69 for this 14.6 ounce bag. So yeah it's a new item sounds pretty interesting now I'm almost finished I just got the next things that I got were just clothing items for me I've never purchased any clothing from Costco before and I always look at it and I always think no I better not no I better not but I didn't write down how much this shirt was so I don't remember and I'm not gonna hunt it down on my receipt but I picked up this shirt with stars on it I think it's nice I like it you like it mm -hmm. I like it so and it's kind of like long and it's a little bit longer t-shirt and it, I like the bottom how it's a little bit it'll kind of flow instead of hugging my hips I don't like that I want it to be a little bit looser on the hip area when it hangs down like that and this was six dollars ninety seven cents was all this one was for this t-shirt and it's actually it's like stretchy kind of but it feels like it's gonna be really comfortable and it's kind of I can't remember what it said. I think it said vented back. So what does that mean? The slit back here? It's got like a slit in the back. Is that the, is that the vent? Oh, yeah. In case you pass gas or something? Or I don't know. <laughs> but I like this t-shirt. And it was on sale. Like I said, it was only $6.97. So I picked that up too. I, I really, I'm going through my clothes right now. And I'm going to get rid of a ton of my clothes. So my clothes, huh? I wouldn't you. you wouldn't? I wouldn't? Why? I don't have any. I do have clothes. I have a ton of clothes that I don't ever wear. That's why I'm getting myself clothes that I will wear and getting rid of all the crap I don't wear. So, yeah. It's been a long time since I bought myself any new clothes. So, anyways. I also picked up a couple of pairs of jean shorts. They're longer with a little cuff at the bottom. I like that kind. It's just got, it's got 
pockets, you know, just regular, regular jeans. They're Calvin Klein. They were, oh shoot, I didn't write it. Did I write it on this one? Yeah, $10.99. I thought that was a pretty good price for these Calvin Klein blue jean shorts. So, and this is the kind of, I'll wear these to work because they're longer. I don't want to wear like short shorts to work and have, you know, look inappropriate. But anyways, I got two pairs, a dark wash and then that lighter wash that I just showed you. So hopefully they fit. I haven't, I didn't try them on. I don't even think you can try stuff on at Costco, but I've heard that they just, they're super easy with returns. So I'm not worried about it. If they don't fit, I'll take them back next time I go. And I believe that's everything, I think. Do you see anything I missed? I think that's everything. So thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Next video is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.